how to use Brevo to send emails. Hello guys and welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be teaching you and discussing about how you could use Brevo and its campaigns and its different features to create emails that you could send to your contacts. Now as you can see right now, we are currently on the homepage of Brevo and let's go explore on how we could get started. Now our account right now is brand new so we created an account just for this video and as you can see for me i only have one total contacts in the dashboard you will be able to monitor your contacts of course the percentage of opens of the emails that you have created of course the clicks and the block list over here you will be able to monitor those statistics for you to gather data and like see how effective your emails are and there's also over here on the home page you will be able to see in this section like announcement or the different information over here. There's also a checklist on what you need to do to be able to complete your setup in Brevo. And there's also your contacts over here. Right now, I don't have contacts. You can also monitor your campaigns and the transactionals over here. The emails sent in the last seven days. The amount of percentage that are delivered. The estimated openers, hard bounds, and block. And there's more options over here like more information on how you could grow your business now we will start from step one which is already done we completed our profile let's go start with our contacts the contacts is of course important when creating our email because you would need to know who you would need to send this email to so you would need to create a contacts for you to use this you could import contacts from a file a crm or add your contacts manually or you could do all three simultaneously so let's go add our contacts you could either add it over here or add it over here on the left side as you can see so we're simply going to use that one and in this section this is where you will be able to monitor and see your contact database so we're simply going to create an account over here a create a contact to create contact you're simply going to click this option over here on the top click on create a contact and you're going to enter these informations over here you're going to need to enter the email the last name the first name sms list and after that you can simply create it now so for the email let's say testing at gmail.com now that's our testing email then for the last name we could put in let's say smith then for the first name let's go with carl and the SMS, simply type in the specific or the corresponding number. You could choose with the different countries over here. If your client is overseas, as you can see, you can simply search their code, then put their number. And you have your list over here. Right now, I don't have a list. So we're going to list it as the first list. And to do this, after that, you're simply going to click on create. And simply going to add to wait. And you will be able to create your very first contact so let's check it out in our home page and in this area you will be able to find it so let's go scroll down now we have two contacts over here two contacts over the last 30 days and you are now able to communicate and send emails with that specific contacts now normally with brevo of course there will be hundreds and thousands of different contacts usually when official companies are actually creating emails they are sending emails to hundreds and thousands of different people. So right now our contacts is very small. Now let's get right into it with our campaigns. To create emails, you're going to have to use campaigns. So over here, as you can see, the different things that you could do in the campaigns of Brevo is emails, SMS, WhatsApp, web push, Facebook ads, templates, and statistics over here. Although you can see the statistics already over here, like the total contacts, opens, clicks, and block list. So let's click on email and you will be able to monitor your email campaigns over here like all, sent, draft, scheduled, suspended, running, and archive. So what we're going to do next is we're going to click this create an email campaign over here. And now we're going to enter our email campaign name as you can see here. You can choose between regular and AB. Regular means a straight up email. You're going to create an email and then send it to your contacts. The A-B test is a test that allows you to check whether which type of email is more effective. Which is it email number one or email number two? You will be able to compare the statistics of how many clicks, how many people ignored it and stuff like that. And then you will be able to identify whether if it's A or B, that's the better email. 
So let's stick with the regular for now. So for our email campaign, let's go with testing campaign and simply click on campaign over here, create campaign. And now we will be redirected to the setup for our campaign. Now, as you can see, you will have the from over here and then the to subject and design. You're going to have to start from the edit from, of course, you're going to have to edit this. As you can see, you will be able to use the email or any email that you have you could click on add a new sender or any of that option and you have your two over here simply click on add recipient then you could select your first folder over here then your first list we added our first contact earlier to our first list now we have two recipients over here you could send a total of 300 emails for the free version of revo Simply click on save and we will have that as our two now it is suggested for our email to be used as a company email like use the company email instead of a normal gmail but that is what i'm using that's why you can see this exclamation mark over here for the subject simply add a subject for your campaign for the subject line let's go with sale 50 percent off you could use any subject line or anything then for the preview text buy now something like that then click on save you will be able to see this preview over here as well. Then now we can start designing. We're simply going to click on start designing. Now over here, we could select a template. There's a lot of different templates over here. These are the different layouts, default layout, sell products, sell a story, and any of this option. Depending on the type of email you're trying to create, you can choose the corresponding template, but you don't need to follow it necessarily. For example, I would like to sell a product, but I like the layout of the tell a story. So I could use this and customize it either way but once you select the template that you like simply click on use template over here then you will be redirected to this editing page as you can see you could edit your style in the design tab and you could easily set up your headlines text styles in one place using the updated designer this is a new feature of brevo so simply click on see what's new or rather let's just skip that for now now over here as you can see this is our page or editing page this is where we could create our output over here in the center is our actual email as you can see this is the preview then you can select the specific part that you would like to edit like the logo simply click this and you will be able to see it over here on the left side for example for the promote your product with a catchy headline you can simply click this and you will be able to see this settings over here like the text settings and then you could change the text by double clicking it over here then you can change the text alignment to left to right the line height you can change it however you like then you have your background over here you could add an image or you could add a background color to this background and then uh, you could do many things you could add an image from a url also you could also block the settings with a width block alignment rounded corners stuff like that you have your spacing over here and your borders over here you can do this to any element that you see seeing right now you can do this to every element of course for every element the uh, settings is different for example this one this is an image settings you could replace this but basically the rest of the settings are the same thing and as you can see here on the left side as well this is our different elements you will be able to add elements by simply dragging it into your email over here for example i would like to add social i'm simply going to drag it into our section over here and we will be able to have our social there we go this is our social and when i double click this i will be able to set it up over here on the left side and you could use any of this option you could add as many options that you want as many elements and contents and after filling this up after building your brand you could also view this in a, a mobile version as you can see and a desktop version and after this you can simply click on send test email which would send a test email to your own email and you can also click on save it quick to be able to save the design after that you will be redirected to the campaign page that we saw earlier but this time we are now done with our setup and we can simply schedule our campaign and it will be sent to our contacts and that's basically it that is how you will be able to use brevo to send emails to your different contacts so the more contacts you have, of course, the more people you will be able to send it to. But keep in mind that there is a plan and you won't be able to use or send as many emails as you can see because we are using the free plan and the other plans are like this. Let's go check it out so that you have an idea. We are currently using the free plan. Let's click this and you have three different plans over here. You have starter, business and the Brevo Plus over here. For starter, you could have $25 per month for 20,000 emails. Then for the $65 per month over here, the business, 
you will have a lot of different options because this is built for marketing managers and e-commerce pros and for the Brevo Plus, it will be tailored solutions to fit your needs. That is how you could use Brevo. Hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe.